Welcome to GearHacker.com. I'm Kyle. We're looking at four different winter mitts that have been used so far this season. Four different mitts, four different price points. Let's see what the value is of each. The four mitts that we tested this winter are the Outdoor Research Carbide Sensor Mitts at $115. The Black Diamond Spark Mitts at $80. The Kinko Genuine Pigskin Leather Mitts. They were $20 plus $8 of snow seal to waterproof them, which we'll talk about later. And a pair of mitts off of Amazon called Tough Outdoor, also $20. All right, let's get into the mitts. The Outdoor Research Carbide Sensor Mitts, they also come in a glove. These are $115 US dollars. Uh, what you get is the polyester shell with genuine goat leather as the uh, more durable material on the palm thumb and back of the hand. Outdoor Research partnered with Arcade, the adventure belt company, to add on the cinches and the wrist leash for the mitts, which is really comfortable, stretchy, you barely notice it under your jacket. The Outdoor Research carbide sensor mitts are also lined with Gore-Tex, so they are quite waterproof, really breathable, they're really nice and on a cold resort day, really, really warm glove. Up next we have the Black Diamond Spark Mitts. These are, again, goat leather. They have a nice added uh, protection on the knuckle, a uh, nose wipe on the thumb, and a Velcro cinch on the wrist. Black Diamond went with their own proprietary Black Diamond Dry as the waterproofing for the mitten. So far, no problems. Has kept my hand really dry on some warmer resort days. Next up, we have the Kinko mitts. These are pig leather with Kinko's proprietary heat keep thermal insulation. The leather, uh, is not waterproof initially when bought, so we use Snow Seal to add a little more waterproofing, which has held up quite well. The backing, though, is cotton, not waterproof at all. It will leak and uh, get quite wet on uh, warmer days or rainy spring skiing. Finally, we have the Amazon mitts. These are purchased off of Amazon, one of the cheaper pairs we could find. $20, they're from a brand called Tough Outdoor. Kind of exactly what you'd expect. They do have a wrist leash, that does its job. The cinches are actually quite good. The material is nylon. It uses its own summit loft uh, insulation. Uh, and the interior is a tricot liner. It's actually quite soft, but it does have some problems down the road when your hands do end up getting a bit sweaty. Black Diamond Spark and the Kinko Pig Leather Mitts. Um, they have those individual finger slots. You can control the mitten better, keeps each finger a little bit warmer, and I really enjoyed the extra dexterity they add and being able to handle things on the hill like ski poles, backpack buckles. Of the two, definitely the Black Diamond is the most dexterous. It allowed the most control. Of the two mitts that do not have the finger dividers, these two mitts actually were the only two with the wrist leashes. Of the two wrist leashes, the Outdoor Research is by far the best. Really grabs onto your wrist nicely. No problems worrying about the, the mitten falling off while you're on the chairlift or handling some stuff like your cell phone while you're on the hill. These wrist leashes, they don't grab on too well and you're always a little bit worried about them falling off on the chairlift when you're on your way up the hill. So let's see how they fit. All right, here we go. We're ready to try on the mitts. The Outdoor Research, again, it's a cuff uh, gauntlet style. And what I found, I really needed to cinch down my coat call, uh, cuff to get the glove on. So there you go. It does go over pretty well once you're fully cinched in on the, uh, on the jacket. Goes on really nicely. We have the Black Diamond Spark Mitt. Just open up the Velcro, give yourself a bit more room. Mitten goes on really nicely. Re-cinch it in again. Under the jacket it goes. Nice fit, looks good. I like the blue, hard to beat that. The Kinko mitten, the wrist did uh, blow a stitch here. So it's not quite as tight as it used to be. A uh, bit of a durability problem there. So something to consider. But again, it's cuff style. It goes on nice and easy. It has that leather pull tab to use if you need. And then you just sink it in under your jacket like that. Nice and classy, you look like a ski patroller or any ski bum you see on the mountain these days. And finally, the Amazon. I ended up trying to get this on underneath my jacket like a cuff style, but again, it's really tight. Not that easy to do, especially when you have another mitten on. So uh, it does work, fits in nicely. 
but it's a bit tight around the wrist, not as much uh, movement, it kind of moves the jacket around as well. All of these mitts are a large, or with the Amazon, they're the medium large, so do keep that in mind when you're looking to buy. I don't have the world's biggest hands, but I found they all fit really nicely. The Kinko mitts are a bit large in top in the top of the hand, top of the finger, you can see uh, when I put my hands down, and then, you know, comparing them all by size. The Black Diamonds do look the smallest, but they actually had a really natural fit for my hand no problems and I was still able to fit a smaller glove on underneath when the uh, temperature really dropped so that's a nice added bonus with the black diamonds. All right so now let's go back and uh, look at the best value which ones you should really put your money behind. We're back! All right so let's break it down now what's the best bang for your buck which one is the highest performer and uh, which one would I recommend. So best bang for your buck the be best budget mitten are the Kinko's for sure. If they're $20, you buy an $8 tub of snow seal or you can use Nick Wax and you waterproof it. They do have different versions that don't have the cotton backing. They're just a little bit more money. So you can go that route, seal them in really nicely. They're soft on the inside. They are warm for people who, who burn a little hotter, have warm hands. They're great for, for people like that. My hands don't run that hot, so I did find them a bit cooler, especially when the temperatures did drop a little bit. So it's something to consider. Best performing mitten by far, the Outdoor Research Carbide Sensor Mitt. What you get with that $115 price tag is the Gore-Tex liner. You get a really nice vertical X insulation. The insulation is 85% recycled as well, so a little bonus there for the environment. You, you love to see that in, in uh, these outdoor brands using recycled materials. The, arc, the arcade uh, cinch and wrist strap is a really nice addition. And again, they're just super warm. Lots of room in there for an extra liner if you need. Uh, I skied in them in a negative 24 Celsius day in Lake Louise. They held up beautifully, warm hands all day. It was uh, quite a surprise to see. My top pick though out of these four mins, the Black Diamond Spark Mitts. For sure, my favorite. They're really great for about negative 10 to, or four, negative 10 Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Really warm, the finger dividers are great. They've got a soft nose wipe. Durability has been perfect. The waterproofing with the BD Dry, excellent as well. Um, with the finger dividers, super comfortable, hard to beat the package, a little extra protection on your knuckles as well from when you're bashing trees in the glades. So I hope this helped you uh, decide what mitt to go for. Uh, the rest of the information you can find is in the description and the link below. That'll take you to the full comparison blog on gearhacker.com. Again, for gearhacker.com, my name's Kyle. We'll see you the next one. Thanks.